Welcome back, everybody. The Farming Simulator 17 here on Upper Mississippi River Valley V2 Beta uh, 2 slash 1 Beta. Uh, I did the update, y'all, on the map, and as I've been telling you in the other videos, oh my. But anyway, I'll get into that here in a minute. This corn. Well, here, let me put my hood back up. This corn is 100% ready, folks. Um, I stopped over here at Farmer's Market, Fresh Snacks. Uh, I should have got me some cucumbers and stuff. But I got me a bologna sandwich, too, along with a Coca-Cola. And uh, we got to get busy. Oh, yeah, we got the... 8R series, 8400R, and uh, it's a beautiful tractor, folks. But I, I learned something. I was like, why is this tractor loaded down in the front end? It was like, yeah, like these tanks can't be that heavy. You can adjust your cab suspension. So yeah, I didn't know that. But anyway, we gotta get hit in the road. We got a lot of work to do and a lot of explaining to do. Um, yeah, probably going to be a little bit laggy this episode because i got a lot of equipment sitting pretty close together. I didn't even look to see if anybody's coming. But as you can see, we're up here in field 51, 52, 3, and 54. Uh, we got corn fields on both sides of the road. They are small fields. But uh, we're going to get this done first, and then this will be planted in soybeans, and soybeans only from here on out. Um, yeah. Now, I did do a little custom work to this map myself. Uh, nothing against the UM RV guys, the VR modding. They're wonderful people, done a wonderful job on this map. But, you know, we all like to add a little touch of our own personal stuff. Uh, this cover is one of them. And, uh, yeah, and there's a bunch of other stuff. Let me show you the map real quick. Everything has changed, folks. Remember how it was nothing but corn and wheat and one field of canola and a couple fields of beans? Well... Everything that's in blue is cultivated. It is not planted. Okay. Um, let me go back to the actual crops here. We got mullet in the, the fields. That's yellow. Yellow. And I think I got them marked down here. They will need to be sprayed again. And of course the fields that's brown. All those fields need to be planted. They're cultivated. So basically we got corn, soybeans, and mullet. Uh, soybeans is going to be field 1, 4, 8, 10, 11. No, no, no. 1, 4, 26, 29, 28. And, uh, of course, all the oranges-looking fields are corn. Uh, we're going to cut these where we're at right now, up here in the 50, what I call it the 50 block, because it's all 50 fields. Uh, we're going to cut them first, and then we're going to move across the river there and get field 40, 41 through 49. All that's going to be soybeans. And all the fields in the 50 is going to be soybeans. And then we're going to go from there. But as you can see down there at some sun core or whatever energy is flashing, we have a great demand for corn down there. But as you can see, it's $954 every thousand liters. So we're going to take that opportunity. Uh, I paid the loan off. I bought 10 sheeps. 
And folks, I bought bukus of equipment. See, all of our stuff is off. Uh, plant growth is normal. Plant weathering off. Uh, required plowing is on. Fertilizer is three states. And uh, that's pretty much it on the maps. We're going to get these combines. Oh, fell off in the ditch. We're going to get these combines of rolling as soon as I can get. That was the first one, okay. J Boo done some good parking job, didn't he? Uh, that one's you out. Now, this is the updated version of their map. The one I was on, episode one and two. Some of the triggers didn't work, like up at the cows. No, 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 stop. I don't want you, I don't want you to just go straight up and down, buddy. So I'm gonna turn you off. Okay, put my hood back up here. Oh, look at there, J Metal 797 is driving my combine. All right. Now let's see if he's a male or female. Okay, okay. I'm not going to look. Other female. Sorry, J Metal. I still ain't quite got that figured out yet. I, I, I'm caught myself going in there, but folks, I, I can't get the uh, how you tell if it's a male or female. Uh, everything's supposed to be automatic. It's supposed to go by name. Wherever it was a female name, I put a female name. You know, like Boo, she's a female, and it said Sally. So I put Boo, and where it said like Rick or Tom, I put J Boo. I can see who's driving that. Jennifer. I wonder if Jennifer is a man. Go look real quick. Uh, yeah. Alright, this must be Hepper Jennifer. And alright, female, female. Cool. Oh, that bad. Oh, cool. What's going on over here? stop this perfect to mess that up now I done learned on this map that when you hire a worker you better be straight on because if you're not like say if you turn this a little bit off it, it's going to drive that way so Come back. Let's see who is this? In, uh, right, we got J Metal, Sarah Suit, and Boo. Boo's driving the uh, auger wagon. So the name's going to be uh, kind of tricky. I hope that does that. We'll just have to come back and check it. And as you can see, that was a, a 6R. We got two 6Rs, two 7Rs, three 8Rs. Uh, we got two header trailers with two of these headers. Uh, a low boy trailer. We got Mr. Blue Farms on a Kentucky Farmer truck. We got a 1977 Mac on uh, this trailer. Uh, we got this trailer with two of the uh, John Deere buckets with the grapplers. Um, the Ford 650 Super Duty Dually. Awesome truck. Here's our third. Eight or uh, don't play. Here's all of our equipment. Oh crap! I hate when it does that. 
Yeah, we got a couple with, uh, ain't been assigned yet. I'm going to assign these to the 8Rs. So we got three 8Rs, two 7Rs, two 6Rs. Uh, my 3500 H, uh, my 3500 HD Silverado, the 650 Custom Ford, a bunch of semis. We got a 4440 John Deere Challenger Sprayer. Um, this is, we got two of the S Series Combines. And folks, it's just not even half of the. We got a lot of semis, trailers. Here's my truck. There's the custom. There's another one. I'm trying to get to the. Oh, Lordy. There's a mess down. I gotta hurry up. Uh. Yeah. Really? I don't, folks. The other ones should be going that way, so they won't snap a tree. Um, really, the only way I found how to do this is pretty much just take your GPS and get that auto. for the trees you get it done like that and then hire a worker that way uh, what are you doing Jay metal it's gonna be a little bit of a nightmare because they're so close together okay on the update he said uh, the bank of heads Hedgestaden or whatever it's called. He said, "Do not use it." Now I'm thinking you can probably use the loan, but you can't sell a field. Uh, if you sell a field, it's going to be one field left, one whole field, because uh, he don't have the field boundaries in. Why are you stop? Gonna have a little bit of everybody in working on these. But this map, I don't know really right now how this is gonna go on. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna rent a server. So you better get out of my way. I'm going to rent a server and try to get Jayboo or Boo to get online and help me with this. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, getting pretty nerve wracking. These trees is what's throwing it off. And it's a nightmare, folks. If you in a little field, let's see here. I'm going to see if I'm close enough to do this. Force from neighbor. Hey, it worked. Cool. Go, W.
hold that straight on, grab this high as you can. Folks, I swear it gets better. There's a little bitty tiny feel here and uh You can see I got three trucks over there. Two grain carts down here. I get somewhere where y'all can hear me better because I know this time I'm loud. Now this is supposed to be the head for this combine. I think I'm gonna switch them out. For the simple fact, look how much of an auger I got sticking over. Look at that distance there. If, if that distance, I don't know what it is. Uh, but anyway, let me get back to it. Since I had to drive this for a little bit. Like I said, I've done the update on the map. He was highly advised to do the update, which requires a restart. You have to restart your saved game, folks. It's all new. Which it hurt me because I already had some stuff laid out. You know, I had a couple of coverage put in. I had a new road made. And yes, it's a pain in the butt to restart a map. But I highly advise it. I really do. Because some of your triggers and stuff works now where they didn't before. And it, it's just a whole lot better. Before it was all corn and what you know, which you get tired of doing corn. So, I'm gonna pull him out when he gets to the end and put him over in that field. Gonna move his truck here. Park it right there. Ah, let me in, let me in. Hey look, Chloe and Julian Vlogs is out here being blocked by me. But I figure I have a little bit more corn than this. And here we go with the... Uh, Whoa, 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 stop, mister. I'd say about right there, it should be about right. Control W to start that. And I'm going to fix that where it overhangs just a little bit. Let him get started and. Hopefully it's straight on. Hire a worker. Why are you stopping? Control W. If you're going back. But uh, like I said, I restarted the map. Then a new save game. And uh, I, I love it. I had to go back in and do a lot of the editing and stuff. Okay, I'm yeah. We just F1 off of here and go from there. So, anyway, before I knew I was going to have to do a restart, okay? Y'all remember I was doing feel. So we'll shop at Well, I 
was looking too far down. All right, field 27, I done. And get it where y'all can see it. And I done field 30 was potatoes. I harvest them. And field 31 was nothing but corn. And I done that whole field. And I had a lot of corn off that field. That field took a while to do. Which a lot of these fields take a while to do. Uh, so what I done was took all the crops I had and sold them very difficultly. I, I took one or two loads of corn here and there wherever it was the highest and I fast forward time to the price got back up again then I sold some more corn. Same way with the potatoes and uh, I done the uh, 29, 28, and 26 and soybeans right there. I done it also and sold them. Oh man, a little patch down there. But I sold all the crops. All of them. Okay. Sold all the equipment I had. Had a convoy, brought it all up to the market shop, sold it. So, what I done was took all that money, and I should have wrote it down. It was well in the millions, uh, three, four, five, six million, three or four million, five million, somewhere in there. Uh, and I started buying equipment. So that's where all this equipment came from. I already had land I couldn't sell it. So what I done is take this to quit you know the money from the the other save game, episode one and two, I transferred all that money over to this map. And yes folks, you gotta cheat that to get it transferred. Uh it's all and number nine. And it will uh Give you a little square screen where you punch in how much money you want, dollar figure for a dollar figure. So I did that. One thing I hate about these, hey, they do fold up. Never mind, never mind. They fold up. I'm trying to creep up. See, I knew he was going to do that, so I'm going to back up this little and hit R. Go ahead and unload this guy. But the semi trucks are not here to stay. Some of them are, some of them ain't. Uh, that's why I got one of each trailer. Um, I think I'm on. Uh, I think there's a field on the other side of him. I'm not for sure. But anyway, this guy should follow me. Turn the lights on. Stroke, anyway. Uh, these two coverts are already put in. Just go across right here. Uh oh. I'm to start right here. Oh man, you missed something there too. But I also, I, I want to get into. Uh, Harvesting some soybeans in this episode, but don't know if I can get to. Uh, I'm gonna copy this course because I changed it in the hood. Course from neighbor. Not close enough. 
got to be pretty close to do this. Red, I have to be off to do it. There it goes. That's how I got off. I want to drive on down here and then go over to that side. Uh, shift F because he needs to be about right there to catch him. Uh, I need to get that guy on one of these combines too. That's the Kintz. Kintz. K I N Z E. I can't say it right. Uh, grain cart. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh oh. Uh oh. Please don't be deep. Please don't be deep. Okay. Not too bad. Alright. I'm going to really move this thing over. about right there. Control W. I don't know why I didn't put it from here. Uh, turn on and drive. And once he gets straight, hire a worker. Just like that. And now I'm going to go to this guy here. Oh, no, no. I'm trying to zoom out. Oh, he's going to turn around the end of the corn. But the Kins, I think it's Kins. 1100 and the 1500, I could not get to work right. Something about the auger. Ah, they end up corn mess with right there. Oh, what are you doing? Oh my god, I did, did not see that. I did not see that. I did not see that. What are you doing? Who are you? Jennifer! You're fired! We have our combine stuck in a ditch. Oh my god. What is holding it? My auger holding it? Let's get that boy down there. Oh, we can lift you back in up. <sighs> but, uh, Like I was saying, you know, I thought that was only the best and fair way to do instead of starting the whole map over from the beginning. Basically, it is from the beginning, field-wise, but not from uh, equipment-wise, you know. You all get to see a lot new John Deere's and stuff, and get to see them faster. Really had a pretty good harvest off that one field of corn but uh, 
Wow, that's a deep ditch. I don't think this water will uh, mess up your tractors. It's not good on them, but it's just, uh, oh lordy. Oh, that's not going. Nah, I'd say it's not even giving that warning sign. Not realistic. Daggering would probably be having a fear right about now. See if I'll give it any It's not doing nothing. Get this tractor stuck on the deep up the creek where I paddle, wasn't it? Why I get something with a little bit more umph? Uh oh, uh oh. There we go. Come on, pull one out. Cock is hurting me now, probably. I'll get back in. Yeah. Can I move the tracker out of the way? Yeah, there you go. I bet you can say you never seen anybody do that. Let's see if I can take my header with me. Yeah, which way do we do? Oh, I don't know. There we go. Now we're cooking. No, 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 no. Trying to turn, but. Okay. Okay, we're just going to uh, start on this reel here, and we're going to make sure we get over here. Well, it's like uh, 10 15 minutes wasted. Uh, 
Three stops, I'll jump in the other green cart and uh, of course, he going to stop. So he's emptying out fast, that's what counts. Okay. See, so it's good on that end, looks like. Yeah, I, I love this. I wish I could get this in, on the tracks. I have tracks on it instead of the tires with the square auger it's got. What well, nothing wrong with the other one is this, well, the, this spout where it comes out, the auger. It's not but anyway, to continue my story on the, this version, there is a version 3 coming out, but the dude don't know when. I think his name's Dave. I don't watch his stuff so much, I should know his name. Uh, but it's Dave, and he's got like two other buddies that have some, and they're all nice guys. I need to start getting some of these trucks. Uh, whoa. Uh, that's one way of jumping the ditch. The pipe out. Really? What do you do? The stop? The tent? Oh! Go ahead and unload them. So good and then I'm gonna hit R. Animation's off just a little bit, but it's working and filling up. That's all I care about. But I thought about just planting all these fields here in grass and forget about it. So I don't know if I'm going to do that or if I'm going to plant them in soybeans. So yeah. Listen, uh, actually, I'm going to follow. Follow me, mine. Uh, uh, get out. I'm gonna go ahead and take over. I don't feel like fishing another combine out of the ditch today. <laughs> That was kind of funny on the way. And that's kind of my fault because I did make that ditch a little deeper there. Uh, just playing around with that bridge and stuff. Control W. Set my uh, cruise speed. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit higher assistant. Uh, which is boo again. What's the semis under? Da, 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 six. See, I like that first one there. I like this trailer in a way. Because it's got, I don't know if we can dump. Uh, see, it don't have 
they don't have the uh, grain door option and it just raises straight up just like that right there and it goes up high so you're going to have to be careful with it pull up here part right here I'm going to have all these on follow me this is one I truly like right here and beacon lights unload here so you don't have anything about a grain door and V okay check out the back axle on the trailer you hit V that raises the axle up and down. That's pretty neat. But I just don't have a grand door. Huh, that may be why. Alright, let's get back to our. Take on the combines just might not work out. I don't know. Then again, I think it's this corn head. There's something about these corn heads just don't work. Two fields left and 18 months to go. I work. And yes, I'm going to take over from here. I don't think I showed y'all all the equipment yet, so maybe I can, uh, I put him on another field and then I'll show y'all. I actually thought about taking out a loan just enough to get a third combine with on these bigger fields. Oh, we're going to need it. And I think I can do like a follow me for the combines. I don't know. We'll probably use course course play, but I don't know how to. Cause he see he don't have the boundaries in yet of the fields and stuff. That's what's actually throwing it off. I don't need to unload yet. Let me go over here. This field here should be done. Fold my wings up so I can cross a little bit better. Oh, caught that. I think I'm wider down there on that end. So what I'm going to do... Oh, 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 not that. Um, get rid of this real quick. Should be still the same size. Uh, we're going to move that over to about right there. And... Hopefully that will work when we get down there.
Oh, oh, oh. My bad. That ain't going to work. We won't get down there. Well, horses be too. If I get it on the right thing. I don't know why I said it to turn, because I gotta be in it for that to work. But J Metal 797 back driving this. And well right, we got A G baby girl Val down there working on one. Let's see where's uh There it is. Yeah, this field is done. Um, so I need to move all the trucks up. That's the first time I noticed that road right there. Yeah, they should have made it a little bit darker indention in the field here to go across. That would have been neat. I don't have enough to dump in here yet, but... I thought this coin would actually make more than this. Oh my god. Turn the right way. That kind of scared me. Let's see if we can get this disc going. Wish I had the money for the uh, the nine R, nine R X, or whatever it's called. For this, it'd be looking so much better on that tractor. See, we can do the AI, but I don't want to do the AI. I see, that's the problem I had with this thing on Cherry Hills. But it'll quit it after a while. Which one did I go into? Here we go. I got the uh, the regular loader wagon I've been getting on all the series, the Chrome. Uh, it's a little intense, 400,000 liters. This is the new John Deere mower, y'all. That's right. And I got it on the. Uh, the 6215R also got the John Deere loader wagon uh, I couldn't get it to feed into the sheets here so that's why I bought the other one to try it but I finally got both of them to work the problem is this thing's floating DR modding it's floating well, I'm going to go in and lower it down myself and run out. You know, I've been done some changes. Um, by the way, I'm going to do the corn down here. Uh, where I got rid of the trees and plow this out even. And then uh, came out a little ways with grass to make a road around the fence. 
uh, when I get all that done, I'm going to put up a big shed right here. Used to be two, two uh, grain tanks, older model grain tanks here, and a couple of trees. I took them out. The fuel tank used to sit right here, along with like six logs around it. I took it out, and I moved the fuel tank over to here. And of course, I redone gravel on everything. Uh, I thought about putting this shed right here, over there. But there's a new shed that come out from the modern hub, so you can use it. Uh, I got my light right here on the block, shining up on the American flag. And uh, these two flagpoles was together as one right here. Uh, I clicked on it and moved to move the pole over and realized it was two of them in one. And this is the original Don't Tread on Me with the U.S. Put the U.S. flag a little bit higher. I think I need to drop that down just a little bit. Uh, outdoor uh, Yankees Outdoor Adventure. Mr. Yankee, if you're watching this, uh, how much higher does the U.S. flag need to be than the regular flags? I know it's supposed to be taller than the, the other flags, but I don't know how much taller. Um, these blocks here is from a uh, Welcome to the City Limits or whatever sign that's over in town. I moved it over here and split it in threes, or actually fours. Shrunk that in a little bit. Put the sign up there to shine the light on that at night time. Uh, only thing I want to do is DR modding. If you happen to watch this, and I'm going to try to get you in the next live stream. How do I put my logo up here? I, I want to keep these two, but as you can see, I added this third one over here. I want to put a smaller flagpole. Well, same size as a Don't Tread on Me. Just move the pole now over here and put my logo on the flag and have all three of them up. I think that would look awesome. If you can uh, give me some pointers on, pointers on that, that would be awesome. And also, what grass is this? The yellow tip. I cannot get it to erase. As you can see here, I've done the asphalt. No, concrete. I've done concrete. And I can't get it erased out of it. I know I'm probably on a wrong layer or something. But folks, my plans is I'm going to harvest these soybeans. Okay? I'll let all this feel here. I'm going to harvest them. And I'm going to put in a grain silo here. Now, you do have a grain silo over... Let me pull my stuff back up. Um, up on field 12, 13, you see a little fuel symbol, and right under that is your cows. Your pigs is at field 6, because your sheep is right over here. But I'm going to put in a grain silo here, probably two of them. I'm going to try to make it look like the area where I'm at. Uh, they got like, I don't know, 20 something grain tanks, but there's like eight of them in a row. What it is, you, you have a, uh, uh, eight grain tanks here and you skewed over and there's eight more grain tanks in a row. And there is a leg and a dump. The leg is what takes the soybean up to the top of the bins and there's also a dump and those 16 tanks are combined into one dump, one uh, dump and leg shoot deal. So I'm just going to have four tanks in a row instead of eight. But I'm going to come over here and do another one. And that will make it look just like. So eight tanks in a row times four is how many tanks they got on their farm. And all of them holds anywhere from 60 to 70,000 bushels. That's, uh, is that right? 
they hold 65 loads from a semi truck. And a semi truck holds anywhere from 900 to 1,000 bushels. So, yeah, y'all do the math. Oh, Lordy. Yeah, I'm going to have to probably set the AI worker. Probably have to get rid of some of these trees. I think I'm just going to plant this in grass, folks. I really do. Because it's a, a nuisance up here being so close. Um, but anyway, I'll do this off screen probably. But anyway, that fuel tank over there, it was turned over. I set it up. Uh, I don't think it works. Um, I did get a. Get off the building here. This is the 4440 John Deere. Here's the bat wing. Well, not the bat wing, just the wings to the John Deere mower. It's just like the coon mower. But folks, check this sound out. This tractor's too glossy. Needs to be a dull green. But I love that sound. Listen to that. I haven't heard that sound in a long time. I also got this. Uh, I'm probably going to use some of the grain tanks that DR Modern put into the, you know, came with this game. But just not around here. It'd be off somewhere. Like maybe on the other side of the river. But anyway, I got to get to my combines. We should all be done. Holy moly. Yeah. Yeah, somebody getting kind of antsy back here. Let's see, control W. Power worker. <laughs> oh no. Alright, folks. It is, yeah. In the same spot. I think it's going to pull out. I think it's going to go. It's not going to go. Can I back out? I can't back out. Just like I did right there. Uh oh, uh oh. As long as I get on this side to finish that corner right there. <sighs> yeah, I'm definitely planting grass up here and forgetting about it getting away from the water. But folks, I'm out of time. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, everything's going to be legit from here on out. Uh, if I buy anything extra, it's going to be because I got a loan. Or sold some corn. I'm talking about selling some corn because, like I said, I really I would have to un detach it. Get back. Hire a worker. That's not going to do it. I just, I don't know. Like I said, I have it. This is my first time playing this map in the fields under the new update. So I don't know how the work is going to work. But, you know, when I uh, mine everything and stuff, it, uh, it, 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 it looked good to me. I think it's going to be good. I just think it's these fields right here, you know. 
these headers don't have a full full load they usually don't work so it's working now it hired worker this time yeah I'll show y'all boy it's messy 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 anyway we we'll go to the other one yeah so it's just to shift uh, or you can tell it to wait and follow I'm just going to tell it to miss and uh, I'm going to cut this corner out and then tell it to follow me I should have hit wait and that way all I have to do is say follow because now I gotta get out and actually get the tracker until it's following us. But at least I got everything. You know, uh, the corn harvest is gonna be done, so we'll come back next time. I think I'm gonna split the stuff up. I need. To harvest those soybeans so I can put that grain silo in. Uh, the grain silo is under the map. It's already in here. It's just under the map because I have to level that ground out before I put it down so I need to get those soybeans off of it. So next time look forward to either be harvesting soybeans or look forward to having the grain silo there. Y'all gonna love it, I hope. I think I'm going to go ahead and harvest the soybeans, place the the uh, silo complex down, and then record. That way it'll be done for y'all, and y'all can see it and stuff. So folks, I'm over as usual. I'm going to get my tractor out of the ditch. Oh man, I got one more field day. Uh, I'm gonna finish all the corn here, put it in the trucks, and uh, well, crap. I was wanting y'all to see how much it was. It's a go sell at a great demand, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that off screen. It, I'm gonna, y'all gonna see that in the next episode, but I'm gonna go ahead and record it now and just slide it in the next episode and uh, y'all will be able to see it. So, folks, thank you for watching. I love each and every one of y'all. I can't say thank you enough. And uh, I will see y'all next time on episode four. This is episode three of Upper Mississippi River Valley. Uh, description, check the description down below for the uh, VR Modern's uh, YouTube channel and stuff like that. Uh, once again, thank you for watching and I will see y'all later. Have a great day. A blessed day. Bye.